create, this is homework practice 5-4. This is another strategy that students can use to add up on a number line to subtract. So instead of starting with the highest number, like 73 minus 45, we can actually start with the 45 and count up. So, and we can do it in groups of tens and fives. So if we start here, we're gonna start with the lower number, 65, and we are gonna count up to 93. So we're just gonna start doing some hops to see how far we can get. Again, we, won't, we don't wanna go past 93. So we have 65, we can go 75, 85. Now if we do another one, that'll put us at 95. That is too high because we can't go higher than 93. So we're gonna add 10 here and 10 here. So 65 plus 10 is 75, plus 10 is 85. Now we need to get up to 93. So we're at 85, we can go a hop up to 90 of plus five. And then we need to get to 93. One, two, three. So this is our plus three here. So we can see what the difference is. It's 10, 20, five, 26, 27, 28 will be our answer on this one. Let's take a look at the next one here. We are gonna start with the smaller number and add up 67. We wanna to get to 84. So we know if we count by tens, if we get to 87, that's too high. So 67, 77 is plus 10. Now if we do another group of 10, that's 87, that's gonna to be too high. So, let's see, 77, we could do, uh, we could just do by ones or we could do by fives. So let's see, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. We can count by ones. So we have 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Um, gets us up to where we need to be. So now what we need to do is take a look at how many hops we did because we're adding up. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We had to add 17 to get up to 84. So that's just how we're, um, we're adding up. Just another strategy students might want to use in doing subtraction problems. Let's head on to the back page here. Uh, Misha has 36 bows. Whenever there's word problems, it's really good to go through and circle the numbers and try to figure out what it's asking us. She has 36 bows. She gives 19 bows to Alice. Gives lets us know we're going to subtract. How many bows does she have left? We are going to try and add up on this one. You can um, figure out a couple different ways. So, actually, you know what? We're I'm just gonna keep it the regular way because we've got our equation here. 36 minus 19 equals a number that we need to figure out. So we could, if we want to, start at 19 and count up to 36. So let's just try that strategy first. 19 plus 10 is 29 plus 10 more would be 39. That would be too high. So we've got 29, we need to get to 36. 29. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay? Students can also start here at 36 and go backwards. So either way is just fine, but since this unit's kind of working on counting up, we'll stay with that one. Okay, number four, Remy has 80 golf balls. He hits 53 of them. How many golf balls does Remy have left? So let's go through and do our equation. 80 first, and he hits some of them, and we know how many we have left he is asking us to subtract. 80 minus 53. So let's try counting up on this one again. So 80 minus 53, we'll start at 53. Our goal is to get to 80. So 53, let's count my tens for 63. 73. If we do another one, that'll put us at 83. That's too high. Can't go over 80. So we add our plus 10s. 53 plus 10 is 63. 
63 plus 10 is 73. 73, we need to get up to 80. Let's do a hop of 5. 73 plus 5 will put us at 78. 79, 80. So we'll add two little hops here. So what we have here is 10, 20, 25, 26, 27 for counting up. Higher order thinking. Richard found 97 minus, or sorry, 93 minus 67 by adding up on the number line. Is he correct? Explain, then write an equation to show how you could check his work. So let's see. 93 minus 67 is 26. He starts here at the lower number and he's adding up to 93. So let's check his work. 67 plus 10, 77 plus 10, 87, plus 3, 87, 88, 89, 90, plus 3 more, 91, 92, 93. Yes, that works. So an equation that we could put together, we could add them together. We could start at 67 plus 10, 26 equals 93. Okay. All right. Use the open number lines for our assessment here, show two different ways to add up to find 91 plus 56. Now again, it's asking us to add up. So the students might be able to do it the other way where we kind of, you know, subtract backwards. We're doing add up to get them to practice on this one. So we're gonna start at 56 on both number lines and we need to get to 91. So let's look at a couple different ways. There's gonna be lots of different ways. These are just two examples. We can't go higher than 91. So I'm gonna start counting by tens. 56, 66, 76, 86. If I go on one more to 96, that'll be too high. So here's my plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, 56, 66, 76, 86. Now what I could do, we need to get to 91, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. We can do that by a group of five, or we can do it by five ones. This will be basically the same way that we do it down here. So we would do 10, 20, 30. So that puts us 66, 76, 86. And then we can just do a hop of plus five here to get us to 91. So instead of all these individual plus one, plus ones, we can see that if we put five of those plus ones together, we can do it as a, a plus five. And we take a look at how many we have. So this is plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and five. So we need to figure out how many that is. 10, 20, 35. 35 is our difference on that one.